In last week's video, I've showed you how I shot this back commercial for the lifestyle drink called Holy Heart Seltzer. And in today's video, I'll show you how I turned this into this. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro and get to it. This is what the timeline of the final video looks like. Like I said in my previous video, this video is supposed to run on Instagram as an ad and I therefore shot everything vertically. The frame size is 4x5 or 1080 by 1350 and since I'm from a PAL country, it's set to 25 FPS. So let's go through all the clips, take a look at the before and after of each one and my thought process behind it. But most of them are very simple, so don't expect anything groundbreaking here. The first clip was shot in HD at 200 frames per second. And since the A7S III automatically converts the clip to the pre-selected 25 FPS, I just dragged and dropped it into the timeline. And since I don't like looking at ungraded S-Log footage, I color graded the clip right away. For the base grade, I used my personal A7S III LUT. You'll find a link to it in the description down below. Here's everything else I tweaked in the basic tab. And here is the before and after. Great, on to the next one. The nested sequence on top is for the text overlay. The one underneath it is a clip of the squeezed lemon. I recorded it in 4K 50fps, in case that I want or need to slow it down, but that wasn't necessary in this case. All I did was to color grade it, nest it, and add a zoom using keyframes. The shot of the liquid being poured into the glass was shot at 4K at 100fps. I also added a slight zoom to it using keyframes, added my A7S III LUT and removed the green reflection in the bottle by using curves. It looked way cleaner this way. The lemon and ginger in water clip was shot in 4K at 100 frames per second. I slowed down the footage to 25% and used a curved speed ramp, which in retrospect wasn't necessary, since I could have just increased the general speed to 125% at the beginning and use the speed ramp to slow it back down towards the end of the clip. But that's what editing is about, trying a bunch of things and learning from it. The nested clip on top of this one is the label that wraps around the glass before becoming the bottle. If I open this nested sequence, you'll see the original clip where I also applied a speed ramp. But this time it was necessary, since the electric lazy Susan I used to capture this shot is turning at a really slow pace. I wanted the label to wrap around the glass really fast and stop as soon as it was centered. I then nested the clip, put it on top of the lemon and ginger dropping in water clip and masked out the rest of the bottle from the label clip. One tiny thing that bothered me was that I was still able to see bubbles of water at the end on the left side of the label, since I wanted the viewer to focus on the label. So I added a cross dissolve to the end of the clip and added a white color mat underneath the main clip. Otherwise the background would have become dark once the fade of the cross dissolve sets in. The split second between this and the final shot was a mix of a fast zoom out and some directional blur to transition between the close up and the hero shot. Simple but effective. And the final hero shot was actually a static shot of the bottle, a lemon and a piece of ginger. And I added a slow zoom to it. The sound effects I used are a collection of sounds and whooshes I gathered over the years from different platforms or created myself. And they elevated the production quality of this ad a lot. Take a listen to the ad with the sound design only. And now with music. For all my personal and commercial projects, I use Artlist. The track I used in this case is called Anthem by Rex Banner. Usually, I have to use Adobe Audition to extend or shorten music tracks for my projects. But in this case, I found a short section of the song that worked just perfect. And that's how I edited this back commercial. If you want to know how we approached the brand by using this back ad, how they reacted, and if we were able to sell it to them, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. But that's it for today's video. Until next time. Peace.